Reddit ask me anything. I'm Kevin Mitnick, the world's most famous hacker. Ask me anything ask me anything. In the mid 90s, I was the world's most wanted hacker for hacking into 40 major corporations just for the challenge. I'm now an author and security consultant to Fortune 500 and governments worldwide, performing penetration testing services for the world's largest companies. I am also the chief hacking officer for No 4 a company that develops software to train employees to make smarter security decisions. Ask me anything. How hard do you laugh during movies when two hackers are locked digital combat? Typing at 1000 miles per hour? I pretty much just roll my eyes and chalk it up to non-technically astute rights. However Mr. Robot has changed that and are getting things spot on. BTW, I do type at 1000 miles per hour. 1024 to be exact. Keep working at it and you may eventually get up to 2600. Well said. Kevin, just completed some of your training from no before for work. I have my completion certificate hanging on my wall. But could we maybe get it in a font that's not comic son? Ha, huh, I'll tell you what. Get your certificate over to no before with a copy of this thread and I'll make sure that I sign it personally. On a scale of 110, how paranoid are you on a regular basis? I wouldn't call it paranoid. Skeptical is a better word. It depends on the situation. Let's go with a 6. What was the most sensitive surprising information you found out? That a federal judge in Northern California had an intercept on his line. I would check to see if any of my friends had a tap on their lines and stumbled upon the fact that a judge had one on his line. I just want to thank you for your business card. Sadly I locked myself out of my house one day and had to take it apart in order to use the picks to break in. In short you helped me break into a house and got me laid. Where can I get more of your cards? Ro, I better raise the price of my cards. Can you hack my wife's texts so I can find out if she's cheating on me with Brett? Brett already paid me to keep quiet. Can you use Visual Basic to create a GUI interface to track the killer's IP? No need. It's already been done. Fun fact. When I had my role on the show alias I was still on probation and not allowed to use a computer. For my scene with a computer I had a prop computer with a monitor that was being operated remotely to follow my actions. What would you say to teens that are into hacking? Are the consequences now worse than when you were freaking? What projects should they channel their energy to? Don't follow in my footsteps. Become good at offense using virtual machines and the various toolsets that are available. Learn about development and network administration to get your fundamentals before going directly into security. The consequences are certainly more severe, and likely will only get worse. This is because of rise in publicity of hacking with public events such as the Russian hacking during the recently election and news around Edward Snowden. What you're seeing in the making is a war on hacking to replace the war on drugs. Hey Kevin, thanks for the ask me anything. What motivated you to go into hacking and what tools did you start with? What motivated me to get into hacking was because I was involved in phone freaking and used to pull pranks on my friends. I wanted more control of the systems involved and one thing led to another. My first tool was a telephone. After that was a VT100 terminal and a Hayes 300 board modem. Remember I started in 1978. What was the most memorable or impressive item of the Free Kevin campaign that you recall seeing? While I was in a federal detention center in LA I could look out the very small window and was able to see an airplane with a Free Kevin banner flying around. Hi Kevin. Big fan. If you had never been exposed to computers when you were younger, what direction do you think your life would have taken? What would be your job today? Kevin. For people thinking of getting into the security industry, what particular skills do you see being the most valuable now, and the most valuable in 10 years? In other words, of which types of current emerging tracks or concepts will tomorrow's InfoSec managers be skilled practitioners? Right now, it depends on what area of security. For me I'm always looking to hire expert pen testers. I look for people with skill sets in physical technical wireless areas. What's hard to find today are those that have the skills to find find bugs in web apps. 10 years, I need my crystal ball because I have no ducking idea. I would say that one needs to constantly and vigilantly keep up to date with what is going on on both sides of the fence. 
It's a matter of keeping aware of the landscape as it evolves. 10 years in this industry is 100 years in any other industry. What did we have to watch for 10 years ago? Do you still have business cards that are lockpick sets? Yes. I don't think I could have any others at this time. What are your thoughts on Fortran programmed language? Is it good? Is it dead? My university is insisting that I have to learn how to program in Fortran. So here am I asking this. Funny thing you would ask. The very first program I wrote was in Fortran. It simulated the login process of my teacher's computer and I used that to fish his login credentials. I never did hello world. I got my teacher's password as my first project. C and Python make more sense but if the university says you need it, well, you probably should learn it. But certainly don't stop there. Do you have kids? If so, do they realize they will never be able to pull anything secretive past their father? I don't have kids yet but I believe they'll be the best social engineers in the world. They'll get good practice on their parents. Hey Kevin. Big fan. What do you think your biggest accomplishment is both legal and illegal? Also, did you have any thoughts of harming anyone, including yourself, when the FBI was coming? My biggest accomplishment was turning my life around. Lemons to lemonade. I'm able to take all my skills and use them to improve security. I'm extremely fortunate that I've been able to take this mischievous behavior and use this to help businesses to protect themselves from the other Kevin Mitmecks that are out there. Look at it this way. It's like Pablo Escobar becoming a successful pharmacist. Edit. To answer your last question. I never thought about harming myself. I did think about trying to escape but I didn't want to end up getting shot. That would go directly against my general desire not to harm myself or others. Thank you. I love that analogy. What's the most important or foremost thought process when attacking or protecting a digital entity? Really thinking out of the box. Expecting the unexpected. Really to me, the thought process is like puzzle solving. It's much harder to protect than it is to attack. The attacker needs only to find one hole to make it in. Hi Kevin. Do you think the rise of cryptocurrency, bitcoins, etc. will have a net positive or negative effect on society? I think it's a positive effect. It gives the public another way to pay for products and services somewhat anonymously. It's just another tool that can be used by society in a positive manner. I know nothing about hacking. Just out of curiosity, if someone really pissed you off with a question here, could you hack them? Is that how it works? Do you need a certain level of ability or could anyone do it with a YouTube tutorial? If the answer is yes please don't demonstrate on me. Thanks for the ask me anything. Edit. Or. Downvoted. Hope I didn't seem rude. Edit. Or. Upvoted. Glad I didn't seem rude. Let's take this offline. I'll email you later. What are your thoughts on Ed Snowden? My position is that Ed is a whistleblower, not a traitor. I was happy when he revealed that the US government was breaking the law by spying on our citizens. That was an illegal activity and needed to be revealed. It's my position that Ed shouldn't have revealed our operations related to the monitoring of foreign entities. That's what the NSA is expected to as part of their mission. Just like foreign entities do with us. That's the spy game. In your opinion. How much protection does software like Norton provide for a personal computer? AV is a necessary evil for a personal system. That said, whenever I'm involved in ethical hacking we always work our way around avenue. Interesting to think that to not have AV would be negligent and bad practice, yet it's easily overcome from persons of a certain skill set. How do we resist the people of a certain skill set? Could you start a nuclear war just by whistling into a payphone? I cannot confirm or deny. Back in the day, when you were wanted, the tech was different. You didn't have tools like Metasploit, Armitage, etc. Was it easier or harder to break into stuff? And also how long did it take you to adapt to the new ways of hacking after getting out and serving probation? Or did you need time to adapt? And, also, in this day and age it's unimaginable to be AFK for even a day let alone for the time you were. So how was it? Big fan. Keep whistling those launch codes. I would say it's the same. Systems were less secure but to compromise them you had to write your own exploits. An effective method was social engineering the operators of the systems. 
a tactic that is still very successful today. That part works the same today as it did yesterday. While I was in custody I continued to read and follow what was happening in the wild. I couldn't use a computer for 3 years so there was some catch up to do but I wasn't completely in the dark about what had been going on. People sent me books on HTML and whatnot while I had no access to computers. How often do people try to hack you? Constantly. All the time. Since there are so many ways to compromise a target I completely reload all of my systems at least once every 6 months from a trusted source. If I was on Windows I would do it every week. Hey there Kevin. What is one area of security hacking that you would like to improve at? What is your favorite story in hacking history that you were not a part of? In the security and IT field there are so many things that are changing on a daily basis so you can't be good at everything. Right now there is a big need for people with the ability to find exploits in web apps. An interesting bit of data is that when my company does engagements I still involve myself because I really enjoy the hacking process. I have many favorite stories but I really enjoyed Kevin Poulsen's attack on Pacific Bell. I was very impressed by his bravado and how he would physically go into facilities. I would have liked to have met him earlier on in my hacking career when I was hacking the phone companies as that was my true love back in the 90s. Ro, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content moite, it's free and that's a great price.